everyone welcome and welcome back to my channel if you're new to this channel please go ahead and hit that subscribe button also hello how are you i hope your day is going well so y'all in today's video we'll be looking at some fully funded masters of science in biology or just masters program in biology in general that provide tuition a stipend we'll be looking at six different ones today um if you guys are ready i am let's go Alright y'all, so the first university we'll be looking at is the University of San Francisco and this, um, the Biology MS, Masters of Science program, is based in their College of Art and Sciences. So per usual, we'll go first to funding. So like it says here, it says st students admitted to the program are fully funded, including a full scholarship and a salary earned through teaching or research assistantships. You get it? You see it okay all right now let's go just look a little bit more into their program so he says you can apply now for fall 2022 the application date is march 15 so i'm guessing that's their deadline um to start in fall 2022 admission so let's see how to apply all right so they have it looks like they have um different areas so it says areas of research so it says un unlike other programs students are required to apply for a concentration and an opening in a specific faculty member's laboratory. To qualify for admission to the biology program, you must be interested in pursuing research in one of the following areas. So they list the different areas, um, so you can pick one of these areas that you're interested in. And it then says, please contact the corresponding faculty member to discuss the program, his slash her research, and your interest in attending USF. And then it says, the application process is entirely online. You upload all of these items to your application account. It says, please do not mail to the to USF. So for bachelor's program or that bachelor's degree, it says, applicants who hold a bachelor's degree in biology are preferred. It says, an overall GPA of 3.2 or higher and also in upper division biology coursework. It says, students with a degree in other fields, in other scientific fields, example, biochemistry, chemistry, physics, may also apply. It says, additional coursework at USF might be required. And then it talks a little bit about their GRE score. So it says, the GRE general test score is required. And then it gives you the scores that they hope that you have. And it says, for international applicants, an English language exam score, so TOEFL, ELS, or PTE is required. Same thing for transcripts. So you need to upload your transcript. Um, you'll also need to upload a two-page statement of purpose. You need a resume or CV. You need letters of recommendation. And then it gives. It talks a little bit of for international applications. So we can we'll go through and look a little bit into that. What um, additional items are instructions for international students? But it says here notification of admission decision. So it says applicants are typically contacted four to six weeks after the priority application date about an admission decision. And any scholarship or teaching assistantship awarded by the program. All right, let's go look at international applications. All right, so this is international students find the city of San Francisco a cosmopolitan and welcoming place to live and study. International students are an essential and valuable part of the USF community. It says of the 10,700 students at USF, approximately 1,500 are international students from 91 countries. And it gives you a little bit about how to apply, English language, um, proof of funding, okay? And then international address, international transcripts, you need to upload your passport, um, English language minimums, and then it talks a little bit more about proof of funding as well. All right, and then it talks about scholarship. All right, you guys, so that was the first university. Um, for those who are interested in a master's degree in biology, a second university that we'll be looking at is Smith College. So Smith College have an MS in Biological Sciences and they have funding. Let's go. I think I saw it a little bit lower. Okay, now I've missed my page. Okay, let's see. Maybe right here. All right. So under the tuition and aid, it says the Biological Sciences Master's Program is fully funded. It says accepted students receive a tuition waiver and an academic year stipend in exchange for work in the department as a teaching fellow assisting with lab courses. It says students are also eligible for summer stipends and research support. So fully funded. All right. So 
let's go overview let's just look through so it says the program of study emphasizes independent research supported by advanced coursework it says candidates are expected to demonstrate a strong background in the life sciences and a clear commitment to independent laboratory field or theoretical research and it says new applications are due by january 15th each year for admission to start um, the subsequent fall semester and then applying, it says before applying to the program, potential can potential applicants should contact two or three faculty member who might be appropriate advisors based on overlap of applicants and faculty research interest. Identification of appropriate labs for applicants will will help in the application process as well. So, and then it says the deadline is January fifteenth, and then tuition we already reviewed that, which is already is fully funded, and then let's see requirements. So it just talks a little bit about some of their requirements um, for the program. Let's see, how do we see like admissions requirements? Is it maybe applying? Do I click on apply to the program and see if the, I'm not trying to apply, I just need the information. Okay, right here. So required app material. So you need an application fee of $60. You need official transcript. You need three letters of recommendation. Um, you will need to take the GRE. And then for international students, um, you will need to take TOEFL as well. Okay, so you need a long paper, a resume, a statement of objectives, and then um, a biological sciences application supplement. All right, y'all, so that was our second school. The next school we have is Loyola University Chicago. So they have, in their Department of Biology, they have an MS or a Master's of Science in Biology. So this is their financial assistant page. So it says most students in the MS in biology degree program receive funding. And then it says the graduate school awards several stipends and tuition scholarships to qualifying students. Okay, I'm sure this has changed because this is 20, 2010 to 20, 2011. So I'm pretty sure that's changed. But it says um, full tuition for 30 credit. Fully funded students will also receive health insurance for two years as well. Okay, and it says, although applications for fall semester admissions are due June 1st, students should apply by February 1st to be considered for stipends and tuition scholarships. Okay, now let's go see their admission right here. Okay, that was for undergrad. So for graduate, so the MS in biology. Oh, it doesn't, it's not letting me see it. I have to like create an account and all of that. Um... But yeah, you guys, so I guess if you're interested in their school, you need to create an account and then you can see some of their requirements as well. But yeah, so our next school, our fourth university is the University of Southern Mississippi. So in regards to funding, it says prospective, prospective graduate students are eligible for teaching assistantships, which carry an academic year stipend of 9000 and 12,000 for masters and doctoral students respectively. So I'm guessing it's the 9,000 for masters, 12,000 for doctoral. Okay, and this city can also expect a summer stipend yielding annual support of 12,000 and 16,000 as well. So you see the funding. All right, so let's see, where do we see their specific admissions requirement? So it says applicants should have an undergraduate major or its equivalent in the biological sciences. It says all applicants for admissions are required to present academic transcripts and scores of GRE. Applicants must also include a statement of research interest as well as three letters of references. It says students seeking admission should complete the application by February 15th. Okay. All right, and then our next university is the University of Alabama at Birmingham. So they have in their department of um their department of biology under the College of Art and Sciences. So in regards to the stipend, they say stipend and fellowships are available to qualified graduate students from a variety of sources, both federal and local. It says the Department of Biology awards graduate teaching assistance to qualified students providing an initial annual stipend of $18,000 for their master's students and then $23,000 for their PhD students or $25,000 for candidates, okay? And it says there are also additional opportunities for students to teach for experience and pay as well. Okay, so that is it. Um, let's see. I want to see their graduate. Let's see what they are, if they're, if we're able to see like their 
application, maybe admissions process. Okay, I think this should be it. Okay, so it says the requirements. So you need an undergraduate degree in a biological sciences. Um, you need two semesters of organic chemistry, two semesters of physics and mathematics through calculus. It says on the GRE general test score, you would need 154, a minimum of 154. You need a personal statement of your career goals. You need three letters of evaluation. And then for international students, it says TOEFL or ELT is required as well. All right, and then for the applications deadline, summer and fall is March 1st, and if you wanted to start in the spring, it would be October 15th. And then moving on to our last university. So our last university is Western Michigan University, and they have a Master's of Science in Biological Sciences. So in regards to funding, let's scroll. I think this was where I found it. So under their financial support for MS students, it says, there are several opportunities for you to obtain financial assistance to cover the cost of attendance. It says, teaching assistants carry a tuition waiver and are available on a competitive basis for the fall and spring semester. It says, a limited number of summer sessions teaching assistantships are also available to outstanding students. So, funding, funding, funding. That's my favorite part. And then it gives you like an example of how long it takes. So, it's an example plan for MS students who takes two and a half years to complete their degree. Okay, how do we see, okay, admission requirements. So you need to apply online. All right, it says for your application, you must provide the following. So it says a completed application with personal statements addressing why you wish or why you want to enroll in the Masters of Science program and the faculty mentor or mentors you want to work with, three letters of recommendation. You also need official transcript as well. Um, but it says for Okay, for their students, you may include an official or unofficial. Okay, so you need a resume, you need application fee, and like you see here, it says GRE scores are not required for application. And it says for international students, you must include the ELT or TOEFL. But yeah, you guys, so those were the uh, six different universities I saw that have funding for their Masters of Sciences and Biological Sciences. If you know of others, please put them in the comments so other people who are interested might also see them as well. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Bye.